one needs to be able to distinguish between the left and right femur before identifying anatomical landmarks. The head of the femur is the round ball which forms the ball and socket joint of the hip joint. This head is at the proximal end of the femur and faces medially towards the acetabulum of the hip bone. The most obvious feature at the distal end of the uh, femur, which helps you to identify the posterior side, are the condyles. Obviously when the knee flexes, the lower leg flexes posteriorly, and these two condyles are the knobs which allow the tibia to flex posteriorly uh, at the knee joint. The anterior surface of the distal side of the femur is very different. Instead of those two condyles, there is a patellar surface where the kneecap or patella articulates.